We are watching a series of sessions on data visualization with Tableau. In this session, we are going to see how to visualize a time-based data and see how certain measures progress with time. This type of data is very useful for uh, socioeconomic parameters. For example, we, were we may want to see how the GDP of different countries have changed over the years, or we may want to see how the rank of different uh, states of India has changed over a few months during the COVID time, or how the Olympic medals uh, have uh, uh, the, the distribution of Olympic medals or the rank of the different countries for the Olympic medals have changed over the years. So in this case, what we need to do is, apart from making the chart, we also have to give it a motion along with time. So that's why this is called, these are called motion charts. So we'll take a simple example of COVID data for India for uh, first few months, uh, months of uh, COVID, uh, that is from January or February 2020 to let's say July 2020. And we are going to see how the different states uh, have changed their positions uh, with respect to the rank in terms of the number of people who got affected by COVID. So we'll select a data set first. Uh, the CSV file. So I'm picking up the data set from one of the files that I already have in my local drive. And this is the data. And if I go to the sheet, we can see the date when uh, the COVID uh, cases were reported, the name of the state or the union territory of India, number of people who have been cured, discharged, or migrated. Migrate means they might have moved from one state to another uh, state. The number of deaths, the number of new cases, the number of new deaths, the number of new uh, cases recovered, and the total confirmed cases. And apart from that, we also have the latitude and the longitude of the state. So if you actually go to this data source and see the sample data, uh, this will become clearer. So we have the different states. So you see the state of Kerala on 31, 2020, the initial days when COVID cases were reported in India, that's when uh, probably uh, the first COVID case got reported and total confirmed cases for Kerala on 30, uh, 30th January 2020 is one. And then you have the corresponding number for death, number which have been cured, discharge or migrated. Uh, then you have the new cases, uh, new deaths, that means additional deaths that has happened on that particular day, new cases that have happened on that day and on that particular day, the number of people who have recovered from COVID. Uh, if you look at this total confirmed cases and go date wise, you will see that on 30th, you have one case, on 31st of January, you have one case, and on 1st of February, you have two cases, which essentially means that this is a cumulative number. Now, this is very important because uh, once we are building the chart, uh, we need to take, uh, need to decide whether we'll take the sum of these confirmed cases or we'll take the maximum of these confirmed cases, depending on whether these numbers are cumulative numbers or individual numbers. Here, since we see that these are cumulative numbers, we should take the maximum and not the sum. So let us now use this data to make this chart. So our objective is to create a set of bar charts, which will be sorted based on the rank. And the ranks will be determined by the number of COVID cases on in a, for a particular state on that particular day. And then we will see this chart moving with date so that we can see how the ranks are changing for different states 
as the dates move on. So this is also called a racing chart. Okay. So we'll start with the first simple thing where we know that we need the number of confirmed cases. We'll take that in the column. But the important thing is that we will not use the sum because you can see if I use the sum, the number of cases becomes 29 million from July, from February 2020 to July 2020, which obviously is a abnormally large number. India did not have so many COVID cases. So that's the uh, kind of sanity checks. We know that this number actually is a cumulative number. And hence, we should change this to from sum to maximum. And when I say maximum, then this total number of COVID cases comes to 327,000, which is a more realistic figure of the number of COVID cases India had in, let's say, the month of July or by the month of July in 2020. So this looks fine. And now what we need is that we need to see these cases based on states. So we can keep these states and bring these states in the color. And because there are a large number of states, it will it is asking whether we should add all the states or we should have uh, only few states. As of now, we'll add all the members. Okay, and you have this kind of number. Let me move the legend over here. Let me see later on whether this legend is at all required or not. But as of now, in order to get the full canvas, we are moving the legend over here. Uh, now, what we need actually is not this kind of a stacked bar chart. We have a stacked bar chart. What we need is more individual bar chart where each state will be represented or number of COVID cases in each state will be represented by one single bar and that, uh, that will indicate the rank of the state. That means the state with the highest number of COVID cases should be on the top and then the next bar will be the uh, uh, showing the number of COVID cases for that state which has the second highest number of COVID cases. So in order to do that, what we need is in the rows, we need to show the rank. And this rank needs to be a calculated fee because in this rank, this rank will be calculated based on the total number of COVID cases uh, for that particular state. So we have to create a calculated character, uh, calculated field. And this is where, uh, as, as you have more experience in Tableau, you will figure out where, what kind of calculated fields will be needed. Okay. So initially, as a, as a, um, uh, as a not so experienced person in Tableau, you might find it a little hard to visualize that why should I do bank? But as experience comes in, you will be able to figure out, okay, I need to show something called a rank so that I can rank the different states. So for that, some amount of experience in Tableau is required. So we'll go to analysis and we'll go to create calculated field and we'll call this rank. And the function that we are going to use is something called rank unique. Rank unique means that we have to get the unique rank for each case. So this is required in case there is a tie, though the possibility of tie in this particular scenario is very low because these are number of COVID cases and it's very, very unlikely that two states will have exactly the same number of COVID cases. So the possibility of a tie is very low, but still it is better to have that. There may be other types of data set where there is a possibility of tie, for example, Olympic gold medals and all. So it's always better to use rank unique so that Rank unique will resolve such ties. So we'll take the max. As we said that we are not taking the sum, we are taking the max because the confirmed cases are in terms of, uh, uh, is a cumulative value. Uh, uh, let's take the total confirmed cases. And we will have this ranking descending because higher the number of cases, lower will be the rank. So rank one means the uh, the state that has the highest number of COVID cases. That's why we need to put it in descending order. The calculation is valid. That means there is no syntax error. Just say, okay. And now we will put this rank in the rows. Now something like this comes up. 
we'll make this entire view. This is not exactly what we want. We can see that it does give us the total number of confirmed cases. It is also telling us that the state that has the maximum number of COVID cases is Maharashtra, but this is not exactly what we wanted. We wanted actually different bars and the uh, Maharashtra should be the topmost bar. So for that, we need to do some more changes. The first change that we need to do is we need to say this rank must be computed for, so this term is called compute using, but actually what it means is that you need to compute the rank for the state or union data because the computation is done based on the number of COVID cases, the max, the formula that you did. But you are making the rank for the uh, uh, state and union data, so this is compute using. And then we need these bars instead of these dots. So what we have to do, we have to do a little tweak over here and we have to make this discrete. Moment we make this discrete, you now have each of these bars indicating the states and the topmost bar indicates the state which has the highest number of COVID cases. We have got the static picture of what we wanted. That means we wanted a bar chart uh, with, with the ranks given. Uh, but that's not the ultimate objective. The ultimate objective is that it should be a motion chart where each of these bars will show the number of COVID cases for a particular day. And as the day progresses, it is going to show how the bars are progressing, are increasing. And also these bars will change the places as days progresses. So it's possible that on day one, Maharashtra may not be the state that has the highest number of COVID cases. Something else may be the state. And, and that state should come up from the top. And then as Maharashtra uh, surfaces other states, so Maharashtra will come on the top. So this motion should come over here. So this is our next activity. But before we go to this activity, probably we don't need so many states. There are 33 states in India, so it is uh, might look a little cluttered. So we'll filter probably the top 20 states and show the racing bar for the top 20 states only. So how do we filter that? We put the name of the state in the filters. And here we select top 20 based on the number of confirmed cases, not some, but maximum. So top 20 by the number of confirmed cases. And now we see that we have only the top 20. A little bit of uh, uh, embellishment here. We can probably, if we don't need the legion, we can provide the names of the state in the label so that the state names will come over here. And now that we have this, we don't need the legion anymore, we'll hide this. But now our final job of making this chart a moving chart, a racing chart. Now, in order to do this, we have to use this tab called pages. This pages, what it does is that in one sheet, it creates different pages for each of the values that you put in the page. So that means if I put a value of date for in the page, for each date, there'll be a page in this sheet. And this can be animated. So it is like an animated movie where one page will flip after the other as dates, the days pass by, and this will give a sense of motion. Now, this is a very powerful feature that Tableau has where you can create a motion chart. So what we'll do, we'll put the date in the pages. And after we put the date in the pages, we don't want to do it year-wise because the time frame is too short. We want to do day-wise. We'll move over here and we'll want to make it continuous. So we'll move this to day, which is a continuous thing. Okay. And now you see that it is starting with 30th of January. So it is showing me what is the picture of uh, the COVID cases on 30th of January. And on 30th of January, the first few COVID cases has come in. So it is expected that the numbers are very few. Do you see the number of cases are the scale, this scale is very long and hence you hardly can see any bar. Okay, if you, if you go back to the data, you'll see there's only one case that was reported in Kerala and that's why you hardly can see any bar. But as we, as the date moves on, these bars are going to increase because now more number of COVID cases are coming up. 
more states will come in because now more states will start reporting COVID cases. And probably Kerala, as we saw, will not remain in the top. It can slip down, and uh, which is good, actually. So here, well, rank one is bad because that means you have more number of COVID cases. And something like Maharashtra will come up on the top. And we'll see that change happening as the time progress. Now, where is where do we do this uh, change of time? You have this uh, small box over here. So you can drag this over here so that you have this full space. And you see here that there is a small play button. So if you go to this drop down, you'll see that the date is changing from 30th of January till 22nd of July, up to which the data is present. Okay. And when we play this button, what is going to happen is that each page is going to show the data for that particular date. So before we do that, we'll just change this maximum confirmed cases to, let's say we'll change this name. This name is too complicated and just call this as COVID cases. Easier to understand. And now we'll start this play button. And now observe what happens. So you can see the date is moving. So early days of COVID in India, those of you have, who remember those two years, this was the time when we are just hearing about COVID in China and Kerala, which is a southern coastal state, had reported one of the first cases of COVID in India. Many of the people from Kerala work in the Middle East and uh, probably they were returning home and they uh, were reporting. But very soon, now we are on 5th of March, we can see some other states started reporting. And you see this, uh, there is no bar yet because the number of cases is still very low. We're in 14th of March, 16th of March, still very few states. Uh, it is around 24th or 25th of March. That's when the lockdown in India was announced. And there were still very few cases that were getting reported. But once April comes in, you see the numbers increasing. And you see that the positions are changing. The positions are changing means the rank. Now you see these bars are coming up. That means the numbers are increasing now and it's coming into the scale. And you see now Maharashtra has already come on top, but then there are others which are not necessarily the top. Okay, Delhi is the second. And as, uh, uh, as more uh, days go by, you will see the change in rank. These ranks are getting swept. For example, Delhi uh, might fall below. Okay, and as you see that Tamil Nadu is gradually increasing and Tamil Nadu ends up with the second position, second highest number of COVID cases. Okay, uh, so Tamil Nadu is improving or rather, you know, having more number of COVID cases. So it's not exactly improving the rank, but actually going up in the in terms of the number of COVID cases that are there. Okay. And it's constantly increasing. So now you can see that we are in May of 2020, significant number of COVID cases have come. The first wave has arrived, and Tamil Nadu is now in the second position. You have these so in the top 20, but you see the state, the positions are constantly changing. Okay, as the days are passing by, the positions are constantly changing. Tamil Nadu still holds the second position, but Delhi is now the third. You have this one, which is Gujarat, which has come to the fourth, and Uttar Pradesh is the fifth. And okay, you see quite a few states like that. Okay. And now Maharashtra is soaring past others. In terms of number of cases, this is a state we saw that finally has the highest number of cases. But you see in between this Karnataka, has moved up slightly and Gujarat fell down. And you have noticed that actually Kerala is much below because Kerala is here. Even though Kerala was one of the first uh, states to report, uh, Kerala actually, uh, during that time, later on again, Kerala had more number of cases. But during that time, Kerala had less number of cases. Okay, And now we are in 22nd July. You see the racing chart has ended. So this is a very simple example of how a racing chart can be created and you can use a similar kind of chart, as I said, for other types of data like global economic data, how the GDP of countries, per capita income of countries um, have changed over the years, Olympic medals and 
global warming, how that has changed, carbon footprints. So many macroeconomic data can be plotted in this method. Uh, a small variation of this can be uh, done in a map. So in this case, we can make a map instead of a bar chart. And what we'll do that the number of cases reported can be shown as a range of color. Let's say a range of red color. And anything that is uh, uh, less number of COVID cases will be towards the white end. And when it is more number of COVID cases will be the red end. And we can see over a period of time how the colors, uh, how, how the colors of the state changes, which will indicate how, how many number of COVID cases are being reported. So we'll make this a fill map. Now you see the map of India. There are three unknown. Probably the names of those states are a little different than like Jammu and Kashmir should be Jammu and Kashmir because still it is not updated. Actually, right and now there are uh, one is Jammu and Kashmir is a state and Ladakh is a Indian territory. And this is, I think, some other uh, Indian territory, not sure which one is this. So I'll leave it like that. Okay. So now uh, we want this color, uh, the number of COVID cases uh, to indicate, uh, the color to indicate the number of COVID cases. So what we'll do, we'll have the confirmed cases in the color, but of course we'll not have the sum, we'll have the maximum. Okay. We don't need the card over here. Oh, we can see already that finally um, Maharashtra has the maximum number of COVID cases so is appearing in deep blue. But we, instead of having it in blue, we want to have it in red because having COVID is not something good. It's a danger. So it's having it red. Okay. And, and also we can have the number of cases over here, total number of confirmed cases, but not the sum, the maximum. And also what we want to do is uh, we want to have this uh, in thousands. So I can change the number in thousands. Okay. And now finally, we may want to make this change with date. So just like we did in the last cases, put the date in the Pages, we change this to day, we change this to, uh, yeah, day is fine. And we will make, come, bring this over here. And now we see the same thing. Kerala was the first case, if you remember, where uh, COVID was uh, first reported. And then as we change the date, you see that different parts of India will gradually start becoming red. So still it is primarily limited to Kerala. That's where COVID was reported. We are in the middle of February, uh, still not much effect on India. Okay, 20th of February, still not much effect on India. It was the end of February, not much effect. We are into March. Now you see some Cases now cases are being reported from other states of India. Okay. Other states of India. Now you see more states are reporting. More states are reporting. Okay. Small numbers. Okay. Quite a few states have reported. Interestingly, most of Northeast, as well as this particular state called Jharkhand, is still uh has not been significantly affected by COVID. But now nobody is spared. All the states of India is affected. And now you see the numbers increasing from Maharashtra, for Telangana, for Tamil Nadu, for Andhra. These are the places where most of the COVID cases were reported. Numbers are increasing almost everywhere. It was reached 2000 mark. We are in the end of April. Okay. Gradually, numbers will increase more. 
Okay, so now Maharashtra has increased significantly and you see now the colors should change. Now Maharashtra should become deeper red gradually. Okay, so much, much, uh, much, is much bigger. And you see that Maharashtra is taking a more deep red uh, color. Okay. We are at the end of May and you see that Maharashtra is gradually becoming deeper red. Yeah, so is Tamil Nadu, okay, but not as much as Maharashtra. Other states also number has increased. So this is Delhi, 30 K. So this is also the capital where a lot of cases were reported. But this is a small this thing, it's not a state. Uh, it's a state, but it's a, the capital state. So that's why the area is small. So probably not that much visible, but you can clearly see how Maharashtra color has increased. Yeah. And this is significantly higher compared to all the other states. This is the financial capital. Uh, Mumbai is located here, which is the financial capital uh, city of India. And a uh, lot of movement. And you can see how great Maharashtra has become. Okay, So we saw how these chart, two charts can bring uh, the ranking and the data live. And you can see how things are moving. And these are very, very interesting charts that you can build typically with this kind of socioeconomic data.